Affinity Photo has a very powerful layering system and in this video let's check out how we can put it to work for some smart layering. Let's demonstrate this by creating a custom threshold effect using adjustment and blending on the left image. As I have created a group all the adjustments I will be adding will be clipped to the image layers in the group. To create the threshold effect we start by duplicating the image in the group. Next, we'll add an invert adjustment and then change the blend mode of the invert adjustment to hue. Let's move the invert adjustment into the duplicate image so that the adjustment is only applied to the parent image. When we change the blend mode of the inverted hue image to hard mix, we get a 50% threshold effect. Pretty cool. To demonstrate that this is indeed a 50% threshold, I'll apply a threshold adjustment to the right image. As you see, the result of the threshold adjustment in 50% is exactly the same. I'll remove the threshold adjustment from the right image and see how we can apply the same steps from the left image in a much smarter way. Instead of duplicating the image, I'm immediately going to apply the invert adjustment. Just like on the left example, I set the blend mode of the invert adjustment to hue. In the left example, I had applied the inverted hue in hard mix blend mode. To achieve this without a copy of the image, we can group the invert adjustment by using the context menu or by pressing command or control G. This basically will allow us to apply an additional blend mode on top of the inverted hue adjustment by utilizing the blend mode of the group. Let's change the blend mode of the group to hard mix and as we can see the result is exactly the same. Additionally we can move the group inside the image so that it only gets applied to the image. By utilizing this way of layering we achieve two big advantages. First there is no copy of the image needed which especially when working with pixel layers saves resources in memory use but also in file size. Notice how the file size is doubled when we have a duplicate of a pixel layer. The second biggest advantage is that the effect can be easily copied over to another layer or document. I can just copy the group, switch to another document and then paste the group on top of a layer. The effect is successfully applied to our image which would not be possible if we used a duplicate as the images would be different. Hope this makes sense. In the next video I'll utilize this method of working extensively and wanted to share this with you. Thanks again for tuning in and hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before leaving. See you in the next video.